this, sign on my foes, sign on the niggas, and sign on the hoes, and everybody who told me to give in and quit. I'm not trying to hear it, I was built for this, I was built for this, I was built for this. I'm not trying to hear it, I'm not trying to hear it, I was built for this, I was built for this. I dream it all Ever since I was young They said I will be nothing Now they always say congratulations Work so I forgot how to vacation They yeah. you never had a dedication I want this right there, that line People of green This shit just my car <laughs> yeah, got me a line of green guitar I want that bitch bad yeah. No, I'm jumping out of Bentley in a nose so dramatic, yeah, but I know I had to have it. For the money, I'm a savage, yeah. I be itching like I had it. I'm so wanted to do the bad bitch, yeah. I but they didn't know me last year, yeah. Everyone wanna act like they That's important. Good. Yeah, it's just but like But all that mean nothing when I saw my dog, yeah. It, Everyone it, counting it. on me, drop the ball, yeah. Everything cause I'm like I'm at the border, yeah, yeah. You fuck with the put your life to the sky. I'm sure sure. I'm when I got meals on my mind. Coming with that bullshit, I just put it to the side. Falling since a baby, they could see it in my eyes. My mama calls, see you on TV. Sun says she don't change. Ever since we was on, I dream it all. Ever since I was young, they said I would be nothing Now they always say congratulations Work so I forgot how to vacation They you never had a dedication People hate and say we change and look we made it Yeah we made it I was patient, yeah I was patient Now I can scream that we made it Know everyone, everywhere I go, they say congratulations Young thing, a young nigga, graduation I pick up the rock and I ball, baby I'm looking for someone to call, baby But right now, got a situation Never old, bang, bang, Franklin's Bing rings, champagne My life's like a ball game But instead, I'm in a trap, though Boss so big, call it Super Bowl Super Bowl, call the O's Get in the rows Talk for lifestyle Oh, you impose Alone. I gotta play on my phone You know that I'm on Until your daddy is gone My mama calls See you on TV Sun says she don't change Ever since we was on I dream it all Ever since I was young They said I will be nothing Now they always say congratulations Work so I forgot how to vacation they you never had a dedication People hate and say we change and look we made it Yeah we made it Alright, what's up y'all man? As y'all can see man, I gave y'all a little mini tour of the Prime Millennium building. I ain't even show y'all the full thing man, cause bruh, if I would've showed y'all the whole full thing, y'all would've been like, bruh, this shit is amazing bruh. I'm talking about man, they had a nice big cafeteria, they got the basketball court, then they got the Prime store, they got a movie theater bruh, a movie theater, bruh. It, it's an actual movie theater with movie chairs and everything. And you got popcorn up in that mug and everything, bruh. Oh, yeah, for the ladies, they got the manicure, pedicure spot. They got the, uh, 
They got a spa. They got a salon. Dudes, if you want your hair cut or you need to line up or trim like I do, well, I'm, I'm going to run mine out. So that way mine look a little patchy. Anything you need, just about, they got it, bro. And the crazy thing about it is, man, this, this was so cool to me, bro. I got put on the spot today, bro. All right, so you know how every company or every job you've been to, or just about every job I done had, they have a safety meeting, right? Well, Prime has their safety meeting every Friday. But, man, it's so crazy, bro, because technology done came a long ways, bro. So, basically, they have, like, this little... It's like a FaceTime call, pretty much. They, they put all of the terminals. Like, you have a live feed of all the terminals up on the TV screen at all times of the cafeteria. So... They pretty much, they had a little FaceTime going on. Like, they had the safety meeting at all three terminals at the same time, online, on the TV. Bruh, I was so amazed by that. And they could sit there, they could talk to each other. Like, they, you'll, grab, you'll have to grab a microphone. Whatever you say in the microphone, it goes over the intercom at our terminal and also at their terminal. So when you're talking in the microphone, it's like you're talking to them. All the way from across the world. It's so crazy, bro. Like, for real. And you can see it, everything on the TV screen. But, <clears throat> back to why I was put on the spot. So, it wasn't just me. It was, it was like, two other people also. Pretty much, they had, like, a little trivia going on. And, uh, if you get the question right, they'll give you, uh, a gift out of the gift shop well not the gift shop the prime shop and the prime shop has some of everything but they were pretty much giving you tools that you're gonna need because they were welcoming they were welcoming all the new drivers that they just got which was us and they were recognizing the veterans from the military so they basically had like a little trivia going on for the free stuff first guy goes up and they asked him a, it was an easy question but uh, they had already talked about it. They were talking about it in the safety meeting because it's a safety feature. So they had uh, asked them, they said, what and what freezes over before roadways do in the wintertime? Everybody should know this if you've been studying your CDL permit. It's over overpasses and bridges. And he got it right, so he won a mallet. And the crazy thing is they randomly pick people. So the guy who went up there first, he was randomly picked. Dude just walked up to him. He said, "Hey man, this is my favorite seat. So uh, every 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 safety meeting we have, I always choose the person in this seat, and you're the lucky guy today." So he went up there first. So I immediately I immediately thought in my head, "Man, he gonna pick me. I just know it, bro. I I just knew it, bro. I knew I was sitting right there in the front. I had a front row seat. I said, "Man, I know he about to pick me, bro." So I started trying not to make eye contact because I knew it was coming up to the next question. So he said, he said, all right, next question. Let me see who I'm going to find. So I started looking around. I started looking up at the TV and look around at the other TV. I'm sitting there <laughs> trying not to make eye contact. Next thing I know, he come over to me. He said, hey, brother, I like your shoes. I'm going to choose you. Man, I know it, man. <laughs> but hey, man, I got up there and I, uh... I did my thing, man. I had an easy question, though. It wasn't really a question. He pretty much just asked me. Well, it was a question, but it wasn't nothing that, like, I had to remember. It's just a tell the truth question. It's like, uh, he asked me, he said, so, my brother, where you from? I told him where I was from, which is Thompson, Georgia. I told him my name, which is Rashad. He said, all right, Rashad, uh, you say you're from Georgia, right? So, y'all don't get much, uh, much wintertime weather down there, do you? I said, no, sir, every now and then. And he said, okay, okay, um, let me ask you a question. Have you ever used a GPS? I said, yes. He said, okay, have you ever used the Atlas? I said, no, sir. <laughs> that was pretty much it right there. I'm talking about this, I'm in front of everybody at my terminal. I'm in front of everybody at the Salt Lake terminal. I'm in front of everybody at the other terminal. Number one, I didn't even know that Prime had three terminals, bro. Three huge terminals. I only thought they had two. Like, the one in Utah and the one here. But I found out they have another one. I can't remember where it's at. I forgot where it's at. But they got another terminal. And I'm talking about I'm on TV in front of all of them. Then I got the eyes on me at this terminal. 
I was like, man, I knew it, man. Something, man. Something told me, man. I just knew it, bro. Man, I'm gonna show y'all what I want. I want this, man. Must have been my lucky day, bro. I'm gonna tell y'all the reason why it must have been my lucky day. But I want this. And I'm gonna show y'all the price of this if I would have bought it out the store. $35, bro. Shit me, man. I could download the Atlas on my phone now. I'm just playing. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I want, man. I was pretty excited. I mean, it ain't it ain't like no give give, but still, it's something I ain't have to buy. So I'm very grateful for that, that he chose me to come up there and put me on the spot in front of all them doggone eyes and all them doggone peoples and ears and stuff. But anyway, man, I'm, I'm still grateful for it. Now to tell you why I feel like the day was my lucky day, because it started off bad. Alright, so yeah, I had to get up early to be downstairs to uh, be at the shuttle, to shuttle over to the Prime Millennium Building, which is the terminal. So we had to wear... We had, we had to wear our vests and we had to wear our ID badges. I got up this morning, washed my face, brushed my teeth. So I walked back out, <clears throat> throw my clothes on, throw my shoes on, throw my vest on, and I throw my badge on. It's a certain way that you gotta put these these badges and cards onto onto your link. I ain't gonna show y'all my number because this this is at this is uh your ID badge and it's also the card that they're gonna pay you the uh two hundred dollars a week on during your PSD phase. But uh <clears throat> it look at see it's like a it's like a personalized debit card. So I can't show y'all my, my number and all that. But uh when I got this man I did not know how to put it on. If you come up here when you first get your ID recognize that your ID goes through here and you clamp it down and it locks in i did not know that bro i seriously didn't see when i picked mine up i opened it up like this and i put my id in like this i'm thinking in my head i don't see how this gonna hold this up but i walked around the whole day yesterday with this on just like this and i ain't have no problems bro. so i get to the terminal this morning I didn't eat breakfast because I don't never eat breakfast for some reason. I just don't like to eat breakfast. So I went and I sat down. So I'm sitting over there, I'm chilling. Got my ID. <clears throat> I got my ID. I got my ID on around me. And I'm sitting there. Well, I thought I had my ID on around me. So I was sitting there. I was just playing with this right here. So I'm just sitting there like this. And I noticed it wasn't heavy enough. So I looked down. And when I looked down, it was like this. I was like, oh my god, bruh. So I immediately started freaking out, panicking, bruh. I'm looking around, trying to find it. And I'm like, oh my god, bruh. I done came this far just to get sent home over a freaking ID pass, bruh. I was so upset, bruh. I was so scared, bruh. I was looking around, retra retracing my steps. I walked that whole doggone strip, retracing my steps six times, bruh. And I could not find my ID badge. I'm thinking, man, it could be in the doggone shuttle bus. The shuttle bus already done left to go pick up other people. I'm thinking, man, it could be outside on the ground when I hop down off the shuttle bus trying to walk in. It could be right there in the walkway. I said, man, it could be in the cafeteria. I'm looking around the cafeteria looking for it. I can't find it for nothing, man. Nothing. I walked that place. I even went outside to look outside. Now, when you come to Prime, you're going to need this ID badge for everything you do at Prime. They will not let you inside without this ID badge once it's issued to you. And I told you, anything that issued to you, don't lose it. Because if you do, then more than likely, they're going to send you home. That's what I was worried about. So I'm like, man, I don't know how I'm going to tell them I lost my ID badge. Man, I'm worried. I'm over the stress. And I'm like, God dang it, man. So I was like, you know what? Calm down. I looked up. I said, Lord, I need a miracle right now. I promise you, man, not even 30 seconds later, bruh. I started back retracing my steps, looking again. I walked by the security desk. Well, it's not the security desk, it's the front desk. I walked by the front desk and the dude and the dude was on the phone and he looked up at me. He said, Hey, you looking for an ID badge? Yeah. He said, you left it up there at the cashier. I was like, bruh, oh my 
God, bro. But here's the thing, bro. I didn't leave it at the cashier. Somebody had to find it and put it up there for me. I was so happy, bro. I, I looked up. I was just like that, bro. I was like, Never could have made it without you. I would have lost. <laughs> so happy, man. I promise you, man. I was like, man. I'm telling you, man. God is a way maker, bro. God is a way maker, bro. Oh, my goodness, bro. You should have seen how much I lit up, bro. But, yeah, man. I, I also want to talk to y'all about some bad experiences I done had up here at Prime. First one, it wasn't really at Prime. It was on the way up here to Prime. I was on the Greyhound bus. And I think it was in Memphis, Tennessee. You know when you're on the Greyhound, you're going to have to stop at each terminal and hop on a different bus. So we was hopping on the bus from Memphis, Tennessee to go to St. Louis. Everybody done hopped on the bus. Everybody got their own seat. So we chilling. Greyhound dude hops up on the bus and he says, I need you, you, and you to move to a different seat. And we was like, why? He said, because we have a handicapped person who's trying to get on the bus and we need this this area to open up the uh, the handy, the uh, what is called, the uh, wheelchair ramp. I said, okay, man. So I grabbed my stuff. I got two bags, two heavy bags at that. I'm struggling to get to the back. So I get to the back and I'm about to sit with this dude and the dude actually he he's here at prime but i'm about to sit with this dude and i was like hey man and before i could even say anything bro do you know this dude going lean back and just prop his foot up on the other seat so i couldn't sit with him man i could have knocked that dude so bro it took everything in me bro i was like you know what fuck it fuck it i don't give a damn so I found this other dude, I was like, hey bro, can I sit with you, man? He's like, yeah, you can sit with me, bro. So, Greyhound dude comes down a little bit further, and he sees the actual wheelchair ramp. And he's like, oh, this is the area where I need the wheelchair for. And it's the area that the dude was sitting in. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all can go back to y'all seats. And he said, I need everybody in this area right here, from this seat to this seat, to move to a different seat. Bro, do you know this dude gonna hop up, run past me, and hop in my seat that I was already in? I'm talking about the dude that that wouldn't let me sit with him. He gonna hop up, run past me, and hop in my seat. Man, I'm telling you, boy, it had to been God, cause boy, I was gonna, I, I probably wouldn't even make the prime, cause I was gonna beat the shit out there dude bro i swear bro that junk just made me so freaking mad bro but i ended up getting my own seat anyway i had to sit behind my original seat but anyway man <clears throat> i just let it slide brushed it off now next experience that i had while i was out here it was actually it prime so like i said you get your id badges once you pass everything you get cleared and squared away so we in the room, we getting ready to take our pictures for uh, our ID badges. So everybody going through, you grab your safety vest, your lanyard, and you sit down, you take your picture for your ID badge. So everybody going through, they taking their picture, and once they get done, they going back to the computer, and they checking their, uh, you know, their ID picture out, see how it turned out. So it gets it gets around to my turn to be, ah, dang, I got a bit for it. <laughs> But it gets around to my turn to get my picture taken. So he asked for my social. I gave him my social because you're going to have to give him your social so he can see that you completed everything. And he said, go ahead and take a seat. So I sat down. He said, take your hat off. I took my hat off. So I sat there. I took my picture. So I get back up, throw my hat on, and I walk back to the computer so I can see my picture and see how it turned out. I'm looking at this picture and this older white lady out of nowhere, bruh. Out of everybody that done been up there to take their picture, she gonna say to me, Oh, it looks just like your mugshot. shot. You should be used to that. <laughs> this bitch here. Man, it took everything in me from causing the scene, bruh. Because I almost told her a few things, but I I try to be considerate of others, bruh. Because I really could have got her sent home if I wanted to. Because that's racial profiling, bruh. And it's in your uh, packet that is no discrimination here at Prime whatsoever. 
they do they do not put up with it. That's racial profiling, bro. Not to mention that I'm far from being a a, a, a thug, bro. I don't know a near thug, bro. I ain't ever even tried to be a thug, bro. I don't know if she was trying to be funny or I don't know. I took offense to it though because I feel like she only said that because of my hair. And I done got that a lot. People thinking and racial profiling and judging me before they even actually got to know me. I even had a girl that I dated. She was interracial. That's the crazy part about it. She was interracial. Her mama was white. Her daddy was black. And her mama did not like me when we first met. Like, when we first met, she was like, I'm going to have to talk with you when we get home. So, you know, the girl, she all in love with me. So, she told me everything she said. She said I was a thug. She said... <laughs> She said I sell drugs. She said I got a record. Cause her she cause uh the girl's uncle, which is her mom's brother, was a police officer in the town that she lived in. She was like, oh, he's got a record. I'm gonna have my brother run a background check on him. I was like, man, come on, bruh. It's crazy, bruh. But she ended up liking me at the end because she got to know me, bruh. Don't judge a book by its cover. But yeah, I took offense to that, bruh. I took offense to it. I really could have got her sent home, but I was considered. I was like, man, you know what? She rode on the Greyhound just like I did. She probably had a reason to come out here. More than likely, she got kids that she's trying to take care of. And I thought about that at that moment. I was like, you know what? I ain't even gonna do it, bruh. Everybody deserves to have a better life. I ain't no bad person, man. I try to smile at everybody. I try to greet everybody with a smile. I try to joke with everybody, because I'm, a, I'm just a goofy person, bruh. I like to have fun, man. But when you push me there, bruh. I'm gonna have to get in your ass. Tell you, bruh, there's some things I could have said to hurt that woman's feelings, bruh. To the point where she would have been crying, because I'm deadly with the insults, bruh. <laughs> but I let it slide, bruh. Being the person that I am and the person being the way that I was raised, I let it slide, bruh. And that's pretty much all that's done happened to me that was, I, well, that's what I consider bad up here at Prime. I mean, but you're going to have people like that, bro, anywhere you go. And I know that this is the trucking industry, and I'm more than likely to be traveling all over the U.S. And you still got people who stuck in 1945, bro. It's only like 5% of y'all out here who still don't want to let go of racism, bro. Like, come on, bro. Can't we all just get along, man? That shit happened long ago. None of us was here for it. If you racist, man, I ain't got nothing to say to you, bro. Cause you just retarded, bro. I ain't even gonna say ignorant. You retarded. You straight retarded. How the hell you gonna hate somebody because the color of their skin? Like who the hell had a vending machine at their birth and saying, "Hey, I wanna be this color. You know, I wanna be this weight." That's like hating a handicapped person because they're handicapped. That's stupid. That's something that they cannot help. That's pretty much all the bad things so far that don't happen to me up here. Just so far. Well, y'all already know about the time where uh, I was late to class and I had to run half a mile with my uh, my homeboy that I met up here. But yeah, man, that's pretty much all I got for y'all, man. Also, if you feel these videos, let me know by hitting the like button and hitting that subscribe button for your boy. It really helps me out a whole lot, bro. I see I done gained about I done gained about 40 subscribers in the past two days, bro. So that's good, man. So I'm glad to see that my video is helping somebody out. But before you subscribe, I'm going to go ahead and tell you this, bro. I'm not your average truck driver or trucking YouTuber, man. I do music, man. I sing. I rap. So I'm going to be posting singing videos, me rapping, doing both. I play the piano. So you might see videos of me at church or wherever I'm playing it, weddings and all that, so just a heads up, man, it's not just a straight trucking channel, bro, I, I, I'ma just post whatever I feel at that moment, or whatever I'm doing at that moment, so before you subscribe, and be like, oh man, he only had people, he was only doing this so he could get his music pushed out, man, I'm, I'm the type of person, hey man, all my music is positivity, bro, I don't, <laughs> you're not gonna hear me rapping about in the trap, Oh, she got a big ass. Nah, I ain't that type of person, bro. I'm an inspiring person. I like to inspire people. All my music is inspiring. You can even go and check my old music. Matter of fact, my intro, I did that.
that's my song that I wrote for my old high school football team. When I wrote that song, it almost went viral on Facebook. You can kind of say it did. If you if you look at it, because I had over 10,000 views on Facebook and over like 500 shares. You know how hard that is on Facebook, man? When I ain't want to just have y'all subscribe to me, I'll be like, what is this? I don't want to listen to this crap. Hey, if you don't want to listen to it, don't listen to it. I ain't going to force you to listen to it, bro. I really ain't, bro, because I really don't care if you listen to it or not. I mean, if you listen to it and you like it, then let me know, bro. If you listen to it and you don't like it, then, I mean, you can let me know. I'm just going to be like, I don't give a damn anyways, because I'm still going to do it, because I've been doing music all my life. I've been doing music ever since I could walk and talk, bro. I started playing the piano at the age of three. I started playing for my church at the age of four. The age of four, bro. I was playing church at, in. I was playing the piano at church at the age of four. How many people you know who can say that, bro? I also know how to play drums. I play a little bit of guitar too, and I also play trumpet. So I don't, you know, I don't, I'm, I don't like to brag or nothing. I'm just letting y'all know, man. So. Y'all gonna be seeing a whole variety of videos. I mean, when I go out with my, my son and my family, I do vlogs with, with them because it's just, it's just moments that I like to cherish because you're not gonna be here forever. And maybe, maybe this will be a way for him when he get older, he can go back and watch those videos and be like, dang, dad, I didn't know you did all this. You know, you know I'm just trying to, you know, just trying to live life, have fun, man. So, if you like all that type of stuff, man, hit that subscribe button for your boy. But that's all I got for y'all, man. This is your boy, Shy J. I'm going to holler at y'all in the next video. I'm out. Peace.